Hello there, so this is part three of our uh, trio creating a, a hologram shader in Blender 2.81 and uh, now we are we have already made uh, some some progress here so and uh, this is where we are uh, what we're left with is a kind of spine pose uh, the texture over this uh, the shader so so that the fridge textures can come through uh, through here so uh, now we already have the material sorry the the texture made now let's see how we can add it here so i'm just going to add it right after this here uh, this node here so we can add a color mix rgb i'll connect this to the top and then this to the bottom to preview this i just need to find the right blending mode so if i try add let's see we have the banding uh, we also get a bit of noise in there so we just need to use this as the color base color and also as the emission and as actually we want this to remain as the alpha uh, so that we take away some of uh, the opacity in here so let's preview this and see and see what we're having now the issue we're having is that uh, the color output or from this uh, the color value output uh, that is going into the emission here into the emission uh, value here is not high enough to kind of see all the values the color values here so let me just show you what we we mean here what i'm meaning here so the emission the color emission value if you change it you can see it has if let me use rgb here it has r it has red green blue and then alpha actually i want to you want to use uh, the hue and saturation it has hue saturation and value so the hue just changes uh, the color values uh, then the saturation obviously changes how much color is in the is being outputted and then the value just increases the strength of your material now the problem with uh, feeding this uh, feeding from this texture here it doesn't have you we don't have an option to control uh, the uh, the, the value here the color value here so we can increase uh, the emission strength there are uh, we, we can't we have no way of controlling uh, the emission strength and uh, that's why we, you see that uh, if we preview where is this if i preview if i use this directly and feed it directly into the emission uh we are not it's getting overpowered and now uh, we don't see uh, that working very well so what i'm going to do is uh before we feed this directly into our uh add uh blending mode i'm just going to add a hue and saturation and node here uh, because that will split our image here into hue saturation and value now we have control over uh, the value node so if i increase this to something like 10 maybe 50 can see we have that so i'm just going to use something like 10 and uh, i think our transparency is getting overpowered so let me see where we had it so let's see let's see it's supposed to be uh this here it's coming from the layer weight and remember we want our edges to be highlighted uh, so to be the most opaque you can see the mix it uh, with some noise i think the noise is overpowering it so i'm just going to reduce the noise even further I 
something like that. Preview this. Uh, from here, we added the banding. Great. And uh, are we no longer using this node here? Uh, since we are using the texture to drive the color. If we preview the final thing. Yeah, I can see how that looks. I think the edges are too bright. So I can find try to, can try and reduce uh, the value there. So let's see, I can think I can produce it from here. So that is not too bright, maybe even Uh, if you want to bring in the noise, uh, the problem is that uh, we don't have really have we don't really have anything in the background uh, to preview what's going on here. So I'm just going to copy this and paste it in my original uh, project so that I can see how it matches, how it fits in this scene. So if I can find it, uh, where is? Oh, see. Okay. I think our noise is not uh, strong enough to kind of bring in some of those details. So I'll just select that and uh, find where my noise is. So my noise is from here, comes in here. Just increase it from here. And you can see how that looks. I think it fits in uh, really nice. And uh, if you wanted to apply the same texture, the same shader to a different material, say this model here, you can see how this material looks. I set up, as I've set it, I've set this up different, completely different from this, because every time I try doing something again, I always do it differently for some reason. I, it's never the same way. I kind of forget. Uh, but uh, yeah, so if I wanted to apply this shader, let me just call it new shader so that you can see that uh, it's a different shader. Uh, I'll just remove uh, this material and find uh, the new shader we just created. If I wanted to apply it on this model, you can see uh, the texture that is still applied is the Coca-Cola texture that we have. So you just make sure that uh, this is a new shader, a different shader, uh, so that you don't override uh, the settings for the original shader. So the only thing you would need to change so that this has the right textures is a find uh, the, the Coca-Cola texture, uh, this here, and replace it with the uh, color texture for this uh, for this model. So for this, I know it's called File One. I can see how it looks. Let me first isolate it for a second. Uh, it's raining here, so I would have to end this tutorial soon. But uh, yeah, basically that's how to, that's all you have to do, and uh, uh, the shader should also should work just fine. Uh, the other thing you might want to do is uh, play around with. Uh, the object that controls the banding uh, so that it starts from up here uh, so that the banding can go right from up to down uh let me just do that in a second and do i just have to find now uh, let me also set have this use the same shader we we are using here so uh new shader yeah but I think it looks even much better than the one we had. And uh, let me try, s let me see how this looks on these materials. I'm actually going to switch out this fridge here for this one, uh, for the new one we have just created because I think it looks better. So I'll just select this 
and link it to this object data I just need to rotate it a rotation Yeah, so that's how you make a hologram as uh, a hologram shader in Lunet Phone 8. If you want to download the shader, you can uh, find it on my Patreon page. I'll be leaving a link in the description. So thank you for watching.